Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Coinex and in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Avalon 747SB. This plugin actually is an emulation of a well-known hardware and looking at their official site, you can see a little bit about what they said about this plugin. So today we'll go through each features and explain what they are and also apply it on a track to see the difference. So guys, if you paid very close attention, you can pick out the difference. Though it's very subtle, but it's warming up the sound. And I can also hear that crispy high end that the hardware is known for. Over here, we have the output knob and underneath here is a switch to activate the EQ. This is the power button and right here is the six band EQ and at the far left is 15 Hz and it can go to maximum of minus 24 dB or plus 24 dB. The next frequency we have here is 125. The other one is 500 Hz, 2K, 5K and the last is 32k this is where to set the compressor ratio and you can engage it with this knob right here below is the overall makeup gain and the next is the frequency knobs they have two frequency knobs here which is for the sidechain uh, section with this frequency here you can set the section you want the sidechain to affect the next is the threshold to set the amount of compression you want on the signal over here is the release and the attack then we now have the input so that's it about the features then on top here we have this bypass dedicated button for bypass then the next is the settings where uh you can let me open it up all right where you can see the quality online offline and the other one is this eye logo which is to toggle between the theme they have the silver uh traditional color and the dark color you know so it all depends on the one you like and the far left is the presets they have number of presets that you can experiment with so now we'll be talking about how the compressor and the sidechain works so let's say i want to exclude 80 hertz I'll come over here and set it and also to the higher frequencies I set it but I'm leaving it at this 2k default then once you've set it they have this special knob right here where I'm pointing my mouse right now called sidechain listen this helps you to listen to the frequency you want to exclude from the sidechain so once you engage that you can now use this knob right here to know the exact amount or the frequency section you are getting rid of. Let's listen to what we are to exclude from the side channel. So guys, as you can see, the frequency I set it is around 70 to 80 hertz sorry guys it's lagging it's not responding immediately yeah that is the frequency that i excluded so that it doesn't trigger the compressor to overwork then with this knob here we take it all to the left it increases the volume of the frequency you want to exclude from the sidechain then you now go back and set it to where you want it once i set it here i will disengage the lesson so that takes us to this train buttons we'll start with this one which is called the tsp this feature gives you the choice of either using the tube tone or the classic class a discrete transistor sound now this button to the left is a 10 db boost according to the article it helps lift the entire volume of what you are processing with it to plus 10 db the one to the far right which is an amazing feature that I like so much is called Pre. This Pre helps to rearrange the order to which the plugin works. What I mean is, at default, the, the compressor comes before the EQ. 
So let's say you are working on a project and you feel like you need to EQ before you compress. You can still achieve that with this by the help of this button. Once you engage pre, it swaps it. It makes the EQ comes first before the compressor. So guys, that's basically all about this plugin. Check out the factory presets it came with and uh, see what works for you. So that will be it for today's video guys. Stay creative and see you guys in the next one.